Greetings, ladies and gents. My name is Chameleon, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. It has been a few years since I played Life is Strange. I think it was one of the first series on the channel that got really a lot of attention, so it has a special place in my heart. And now we are going to play Before the Storm, the story that has happened before Life is Strange 1. And I have heard rumors that Life is Strange 2 is going to happen at some point, but for today, we are going to play Life is Strange 1 Before the Storm. Now my plan is, I think there are three episodes in this game and a bonus, um, like a bonus episode or and something like that as well. I'm going to see how much I can play of this game in one day, in one sitting. Like, I'm just gonna sit here and play the game, and probably at the end of every episode, I'll just end, well, the video saying that, well, goodbye guys, thank you for watching. But I'll cut up the pieces in, like, videos of around half an hour, I think. But in the meantime, just keep playing, so I will not do an outro every time. So then you know. But that's my plan for today. It's gonna be a lot of Life is Strange. I'm really excited about it, I'm really curious how this is gonna go, because I've heard that I, I've heard mixed reactions to this game. Some people really like it, some people don't like it. And I've also heard that the voice actor from Chloe, the voice actress who uh, voiced Chloe in the first game, is a different person from the one who's um, voice acting Chloe in this game. So we're gonna see. Press the button. Episodes. Uh, I guess uh, start episode, episode one. Hmm? Ah, there we have it. The bonus episode is as well. So we have episode one, Awake. Two, A Brave New World. Three, Hell is Empty. And a bonus episode, Farewell. With Max and... and yeah, that's, that's, wait, that's Max and Amber? No, that's not Max and Amber. Is it... Chloe and Amber? I'm, I'm confused. I, I don't remember what these guys looked like when they were younger. Let's just start the game. Start episode, episode one, Awake. Look, I even got my owl shirt on because this game has a, a thing for shirts with animals on it. So I was like, yeah, let's put on my owl shirt. That feels fitting. <laughs> Woo. We're gonna play Life is Strange. Oh, I'm curious. Life is Strange Before the Storm is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of your actions and decisions will impact the worlds around you. Choose wisely. Yeah, and this time we can't uh, revert back in time when we make bad decisions. I... I think. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, you really shouldn't be standing there. You, you, re you really shouldn't be standing there. Is that Chloe? That's the first thing that comes to mind. It must be Chloe. Um. Um. Wow. Wh wh why would you do that? It's Chloe. Uh, that's not really my definition I can't of fun. Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. All right. Apparently that's cool. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Am I out here, Chloe? G g go somewhere. Oh, this is really cool. It's like a younger version of Chloe. I'm playing as Chloe right now. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is the art style that I knew and love from Life is Strange. Hello. It's a fence. Let's jump over it. Oh, wait. We can click on it and then either look or jump. Approach the fence. Hold down that. I press S to jump it, but I'm gonna look first. No trespassing? No way. Ha! <laughs> you don't even know what you're saying. And there we go. Very agile, if I say so myself. <laughs> Fuck you, fence! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh boy. I really wonder if this is that. This would be the kind of pla this place. Is awesome. Yeah, this would be the kind of place that Chloe would go to. You're right. If I'm gonna get inside. I'll have to get through that door. Hold down shift to move faster. Yeah, there's a piece of machinery over here. Let's check it that out. Saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. It's weird to hear the vo the voice, the thoughts of Chloe. 
I'm not used of you know it was has always been Max and now it's it's Chloe. It's it's weird. I don't know how to put it. It's just different. Do you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Some say the world will end in fire. And that's not the first thing I would think about when I see a bonfire, but okay. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. Woo! An hour. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. And that's why she likes it. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Oh. That's bad. Yeah, we kind of know things are not going well at Chloe's home. Oh, I guess... Okay, that's it. Just I just have to leave. Alright. Bikes! I'd join a motorcycle gang. If I had any friends. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. There's another door here. Band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. Uh huh. A second door inside. So close and yet so far. So I can't open that door apparently. Hello. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. I um I, I guess so. We're just exploring a bit, guys. We're just looking around inside the game, inside the environment. There's a panel here. Ah, perfect place for me to work. Oh, are you a graffiti artist? I don't think people really like you doing it. Now what to draw? That's not graffiti. Not a meth lab. Free candy! <laughs> free candy is real bad. Let's go for the other one. It's also bad, but free candy is real bad. Oh, jeez. Chloe! Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. Yeah. I'm sorry, officer. It says what on the side of my RV? <laughs> All right. So we do have a little bit of an, um, what do you say, agenda? A journal over here. So you know how I stopped going to class so much, like you stopped talking, talking to me so much. Is this about Max and and not being here? Can I? This is page three of three. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have to go to number one. Dear Max. Dad got me this stationery one day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write Max. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say, because we haven't talked in three months, despite all my calls and texts and... Not that I'm upset or anything. Sure. Fuck. There's no way I'm sending this, is there? Chloe, the unfriended. Oh, Chloe. I, I will say, guys, in the previous series... When I was reading the journal, I gave you guys an option to just skip over the journal. I can't do that anymore because of YouTube changing its end screens things. So you just have to skip through it yourself if you don't want to listen to it. But I think there's some really interesting stuff in here, so it's well worth the wait and listen. Max. Put your thoughts in me. Um, okay. Now this is more like it. Here I can write to you all I want without wondering or worrying if you'll ever write me back. Maybe one day, when you return home and apologize for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll show this to you and we can read it and laugh. Now oh, that's kind of what happened. Or maybe I'll decide that journal is... Jur journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max. <laughs> and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend pen pal. Time was hell. <laughs> Chloe, the journal boss. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, Ready? So mom suggests taking a road trip next summer, and I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David. The wannabe drill sergeant who swooped in on mom and has stuck around like a bad zit. David, the mustache monster from Planet Dipshit. That fucking David. Yeah, you really don't like David, do you? Anyway, I politely suggested to mom that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then. Or breathing. Hey, shit happens, as you might imagine. That didn't go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, then she's got serious self-esteem issues, and I've got serious self-immolation. Look it up, nerd. Plants. Self-immolation? 
I don't know what it is. Nerds, look that up for me. <laughs> I'm a nerd too. I, I could look it up, but you know, time. She can do better. That's all I meant. But she didn't want to hear it. Like I'm an asshole. Like I'm the asshole. All right, Chloe the asshole. What? Is it a picture of Chloe the asshole? Why? All right, so this is where we began. So you know how I stopped going to class so much? Like you stopped talking to me so much? Funny story. I had trouble coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't. I just didn't show up. And it was fine. Nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invincible all of a sudden. Maybe that's the perk of being the dead dad girl. No one knows what to do with me, so they're actually relieved when I stay home. Wish I figured this out sooner. Think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Pris from Blade Runner popped into my head last time I rubbed one. I mean, at first I was thinking about Deckard and that smolder of his, but then Pris just totally stole the show. Probably nothing there. I think I just want her bangs. Chloe the electric sheep. Um, not really sure what you're going for with that last part. Okay, so that's that part. What do we have here? Here we have the characters. Let's see, Chloe. My name is Chloe Price, but you can call me... Oh, you can call me that picture. Okay. <laughs> I am an inmate at Blackwell Academy. You're not an inmate. Currently serving a four-year sentence for crimes against maternity. <laughs> that would be my mom, Joyce, who seems endlessly disappointed in me. Aw, oh, that's not true. Which, I get it. I'm no one's image of a perfect daughter or student. Or anything, really. She's so deep in the rabbit hole of depression. But who the fuck wants to be perfect? I'm surrounded all day by so-called perfection, and it sucks ass. Other things that suck, mom's new drill sergeant boyfriend David. How hard it is to buy weed around here, having no friends, hypocrites, country music, people who say chillax, dad being dead. It's been two years since he died in a car crash, and I still think about him all the time. I've even been having these weirdly lifelike dreams. Sometimes I think he's trying to tell me something. Other times I remember that he's feeding worms in a ditch right now, and anything else is just a fairy tale to make myself feel better. So sad. At least I have two weapons to help me survive this shit burg town. The pen I use to tag and any and and uh, sorry. The pen I use to tag and any and everything I want. And my shining personality. <laughs> If we work at it, maybe I can leave this place just a little less perfect than when I found it. Well, isn't that nice? Um, so is this then... Wait, if I go to previous... No, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 back. Okay, so here we have Max. I think that's how we go through it, right? So if I go back and say David and Joyce... Yeah, then I get back to these guys. Uh, all right, all right, okay. So we're gonna go for Max uh, now, yeah. Max Caulfield. MIA ex-best friend extraordinaire. This artsy motherfucker loves photo photography more than life itself, and definitely more than me. Don't be so hard on yourself, man. She even uses old instant cameras. It's probably not healthy for anyone to be that stuck in the past, but who am I to tell people how to live their lives? When we were kids, we would dress up like pirates, and eat ice cream and write and draw these stupid comic books where we had powers and saved people and shit. Max kinda does get powers though. Then my dad died. And her dad got some job up north and she moved away to Seattle. It was probably the moment when I needed her most. And she bailed. Thanks, Max, for teaching me that I can't rely on anyone. I mean it. Life lesson learned. It, she didn't mean it like that, man. Woman. The worst part is that even though we haven't spoken in months, even though she habitually ignored my texts so much that I just stopped trying, even though I know deep down that she doesn't care about me anymore, that she probably has all new friends up in fucking Seattle. I still miss her. If she came back tomorrow and said, Hey Chloe, want to dress up like pirates and be stupid together? We'll take her back in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Oh, It's so sad and nice. William. If I had a nickel bag for every jerk of guidance counselor or therapist who tried to get me to write shit about that over the last couple years, I would never have to buy weed from Frank again. What's the matter? Don't you want to write your dear old dad? <laughs> okay, that's a little bit creepy. I guess they think it helps me cope with my feelings. Or whatever. As if a few foot paragraphs about how great dad was could help me forget that his guts are probably still plastered to the underside of a semi-truck. <laughs> and what the fuck am I supposed to write anyway? That he was the perfect dad, who was always fun to be around and never angry? That he treated me like an equal? That he, has, he was constantly working to make our lives better? That he could always make me laugh, even when I was being a bitch. 
that he sang in the shower and hated hypocrisy that his barbecue grill is still rusting in the backyard because the thought of either throwing it away or ever using it again are both so painful that it's easier for mom and me just to pretend neither of us notices it. If that's coping, the coping can go fuck itself. I can't imagine how hard it must be to lose a parent. I have friends who've lost their parent. It's, uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know shit's been rough since dad died. Money's tight. Her job as a waitress at a diner isn't exactly glamorous. And I'm clearly not all about the whole going to school thing. But why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us? She acts like if I smoke pot or when I skip out to go catch an awesome show. It's somehow a personal attack on her. She should be happy that I'm self-medicating and not going postal on everyone. She never used to be this way when dad was around. She could actually be cool. But lately there's a hairy dick monster she let into the house that's fucking everything up. David Madsen. A jobless, brainless, dickless little shit with a heart on for the military and a promise to whip me into shape, asshole. Yay, fun times. I've tried to express these concerns to my mom. Yet every week it seems the virus splits to yet another corner of her life. I'm starting to worry that the David flu is the kind of disease that kills its host. I mean, can't you just be happy for your mom? I'm, but then again, if you don't like the guy she's with, I can see how you fight that. Just because it's like, I don't want an, an, another dad. I don't want a new dad. I already have a dad. And I don't want you to be with my mom because my mom loved my dad. So go away. I, mean, I can see how that is the feeling you get. But at the same time... If your mom finds happiness like that, you can try to be happy for her, even if you don't agree with him or with her about him. You can always express your concerns, but if it doesn't work, then you have to lay off and let them figure it out for themselves. It's a tough thing. Episode 1. So is this like something sharp? Definitely absolutely not a meth lab. So these are all the things, just like with the pictures. That I can find the pi picture Easter eggs with Max in Life is Strange in Life is Strange Before the Storm. We have these tags that we can find to do. Okay, that's cool. Is these pictures then? Are, these look like pictures. I don't know. And here we have messages. See, there's a lot to read right now in the first episode already. Kind of expected that. Let's see what happens. So sorry, I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How is it going? You there? Gah, sorry again. I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle. More in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future. Hey, Hippie. I'm so sorry. Maybe we should set up a time to call. No worries. I'll check my dance card. 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay. What is it? 20, 2019 in Seattle? I <laughs> know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime. Let me know. Yo, Queen of the Crickets. What's the latest? Max? Oh. Max! How dare you? And here we have Frank. Your shit's here. Hell yeah! But tapped out, sorry. Your loss. Hey, you can hold it for me a day. Can I? I'm your favorite customer. Are you? Frank, you holding? You still owe. You gonna have me whacked? Yes. Please joke about that over text. Um, you deal drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on. It's 420. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Ah, rain check. Oh, oh, oh. Elliot. Who's Elliot? Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I pass. Ah, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What are you up to? Not much. Got shit to do later. Oh, okay. Alright, interesting. And mom. Will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. We'll be coming home at some point tonight. No thanks. <laughs> There's not much you said, but you know. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't want to do that. Tap again. So I think we had all the menus now, right? Okay, maybe I do want to do this then. Alright, so that's how the game works. That's how we're gonna go do things, and that's why we have to discover and find all of the text writing. Let's take a look at this. Seriously, though, who drives an RV to a firewalk show? I mean, come on, why not? Hi, guys, are you having an argument? It's so nice. Those guys need to get a room. Um, not that kind of room. Well, um. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. Ow. I understand. I understand, really, and, and, and it won't ever happen again. I Do you really understand? Wait, I thought I had subtitles on as well. Wait, I've got to check the options for a moment, guys. Yeah, there. My subtitles are on. Apparently, it's just not working for this. 
Lucas trust with me is earned in action. Oh well, we can all do English, right? So should be okay. Hey, dudes, you looking fine. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. We can just walk past him. <laughs> Help you, miss. Well. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. Right. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Wow. All right, nice try, Chloe. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him, or can something around here help me convince him? Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. <laughs> New dialogue unlocked. So I guess this bike belongs to him. I mean, we can just go to the back door again, I guess. As it says, look and listen. It doesn't say open. So let's go back to him then. What up, dude? Let's uh, speak. God, again? What do you want, kid? Let me inside now. The mill, your bike. Walk away. The mill. This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. Weird. How about your bike? Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Is that all? Yeah. Nice try. Let me inside! Uh oh, you started a backtalk challenge. Uh, space. What does it mean? This doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Uh oh, in backtalk you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. <laughs> Jeez, Chloe. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Um. To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. So, talking about bedtime. Okay. Your bedtime, no bedtime, do me a solid. Then pick a comeback that reflects their words back at them. Your bedtime, then. Aww. Oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Again, listen to your opponent's words, so this time it's cute. I don't do cute. Cute is relative. What could it hurt? Uh, I don't do cute. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out. Here, playground is a good response to kids. Oh, so final sneak in. I'm not a kid. So then you would say I'd have to pick that one. But this isn't a playground. So this might be better. Maybe I am. This looks like a damn playground to me. <laughs> like you, I can't protect you in there. Maybe. Flowers on your bike, a girl like me. I'm not worried. Uh flowers on your bike. A girl like you with pretty pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan. Ooh. <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, alright? All right, look the other way. Who's your boss? Bosses suck. Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You You're not accepting no for an answer. No. Nope. You? Yes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're alright, kid. Go on. In. That was nice. That's how you demand respect around here. No, don't do this. This is this is so bad. This is not good examples for kids of any age or people for that matter. Just Hey, I'm a big nerd, okay? I'm like the small time dude with the not the big pumps who just is, hides in a corner so no, that's not true actually. You have to stand up for yourself, it's this important. Is intense. <laughs> oh there's the doggy. Come. Delia, how nice. Cute dog. Mm-hmm. 
Wow, those eyes look awesome. Scream, don't touch my soul with a dirty hand. Question everything. Why? <laughs> Why question everything? Yeah. So just this is follow bar. the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Well, let's just go look at this pet pitbull first. That dog is fierce. Yeah, that's pet him. That's a great idea. Turn it. Delia. Hi, Delia. Oh, that's a good boy, girl. Good girl. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> I guess that's, uh, that's it. Oh, I can't talk with him though. So let's go up to the stairs. So let's not go there yet. Hey, Frank is here, my boy. Let's go to the drunk girl first though. Let's save Frank for later. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. Yeah, why are you doing that? Yep. Don't mess with Damon. Thanks for the memo. Um, all right. I thought that might be the thing to go do things again. T-shirt vendor. Oh, why? No parking. <laughs> yeah. No shit. This car could slide down any minute. Oh, but that's real bad. That that's that's not good. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. <sighs> Why would we do that? Is it because we don't like Defender? That shirt is rad. Yeah, I want it. No, 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 no. So I just take it. He's busy. Twenty bucks, baby. Twenty bucks. That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine. 20 bucks, thief. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. How about pay him some money? No, 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 that, no, no, I mean, that's not Chloe's style, but still. That guy's a dick. Okay. I'd love right, to see his car roll right out from under. Yep. If you don't have 20 bucks, beat it. Ugh. Still a dick. Yep, still a dick. All right, let's no, go no, do no, something no, no. about that, huh? Look, we have to set this up. <coughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. And there it goes. Bye bye. Shit. No, 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 no. Come on. Welp. Oh no, my car. I have to Thanks look at the front playing, now. Dick. <laughs> Oh man, let's go grab a t-shirt. Oh yeah, sweet, sweet victory. Oh, she just put it in her bag like that, or maybe up her bum. I don't know. It's uh, it's weird how items disappear. That's what? like two hundred bucks. Uh, I'm a nice person. Not worth it. These guys might burn me at the stake. Yep. I I'm a uh, no. Bad idea. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. <laughs> really? That's your comment about that? Okay, so th these two I cannot talk to. Let's go over here. There's a knife. Okay. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Yeah, I can see why. Knives are cool though, but seriously, it's just no. Sketch central. Beer? Be beer is good. Cold beer, free for the taking. All right. Wait, are you underage? You're probably underage. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. I don't know how old is Chloe because I know in the Netherlands right now you have to be. Okay, so there's the crowd. You have to be older than 18 to drink alcohol. Um, what? Wait, what is that? Termination notice. 